ready to apply the silver diamine fluoride for your son. So I'll just tell you quickly what we're gonna do. As soon as we're all gloved up and ready, I'll have you lean him back in my lap. And then I'm gonna dry the teeth and apply it in the front teeth first. And then I'll dry the back teeth and use that floss, our special floss, to put it in the back teeth. So I'll let you know when we're ready to lean back. And Jack, if you do a good job, you can get a prize. Okay, do you wanna get a prize? Yeah. Back? Sure, no. we can lean him back. No, we need that. Can we, ha can we try, honey? No. We're going to take down the audio so I can talk you through this process since our little guy's having a bit of a hard time. It's okay to do a lap to lap exam for this. Make sure that the parent is holding the hands tightly and keeping the legs down as well. So you can isolate the field to avoid any staining. You can start by putting some Vaseline around the child's lip and even their face in order to try and avoid any unnecessary and unwanted staining of the silver diamine fluoride. You can even use it on the gum tissue. Use a two by two or an air water syringe to dry the teeth that you'll be doing the application and keep the area isolated and try to use the applicator brush to only paint onto the carious lesions. And then the trick is to try and keep it isolated for 10 seconds or so. I generally sing or count to 10 slowly and try to keep the child as entertained as you possibly can. And once you've made it to 10 seconds approximately, then just dry the area again to wipe off any excess silver diamine fluoride. Now, if the child has an interproximal lesion, you can use super floss. This is a little trickier to avoid any contact with the skin, especially if your child's moving around, but try to keep the area isolated. You're gonna to need to dry it and then quickly do the flossing between the teeth and try and keep the area isolated and the floss out of the way. I always warn parents that there could be some staining on the lips or the cheek, but it does resolve within three to seven days. Now for the cleanup, we try to keep anything that could have been touched by the silver diamine fluoride into our gloves and immediately discarded. My assistant knows to wipe out any excess silver diamine fluoride out of the Dappen dish, but with the two by twos, and you'll see she'll actually take those two by twos, wrap them in her gloves, and immediately put them into the trash in order to, again, try to avoid any unnecessary staining. Mm -hmm.